Welcome back to another awesome video. Guess what we did recently? We moved to a new house. So what does that mean? That means a whole new set of internet equipment. So in Which this is a pain in the butt. No, just kidding. <laughs> no, that's a good point. Why is it worth getting your own equipment when you can just rent a box from Comcast? Well, I think it is for a bunch of reasons. You get better control and monitoring over your network. You can locate the Wi-Fi access point in the optimal place for better reception because it's not all in one box. And you get things like power over ethernet. And of course, individual components may just be better quality and swappable versus one big box. So let's open each component in our new budget internet setup and talk about why we picked it. Okay. First, I'm using Comcast Xfinity. So let's talk about the cable modem. I got the Hitron Coda 56 for $118. Previously, I used a Motorola surfboard, but I don't think Motorola's in the cable modem business anymore. And this thing had uh, good reviews and a reasonable price from amazon.com. Uh, I did have to remove the feet off the bottom to make it lie flat on my shelf. You save the rental fee by, by having your own cable modem. Not much to say about it. You plug it in and it works. Hopefully this will be as reliable as my Motorola. Right now it's been running for about two months no problems whatsoever next up is the ubiquity cloud gateway ultra now this is really the heart of your network it's the firewall the router where you manage ip addresses and monitor the network and set up your vpn all this stuff why did i pick this one because it's a router and only a router ubiquity has all sorts of variations on this with different add-ons but i'm not using their security or their phones or their cameras or whatever so this is just a router and i can locate my wi-fi separately so but this is a really cool thing we'll talk about it a little bit more later uh, only thing to say now a couple of things first of all I got it at B&H photo it was a little cheaper than Amazon and coincidentally I happened to be in New York City this Christmas and I got to see the actual B&H photo physical store it's really cool highly recommended if you get a chance also I was a little bit worried that they were tying you into a cloud account but you can set this up totally locally without any sort of Ubiquity account at all. And I did that and it works fine. Now let's talk about Wi-Fi. The Ubiquity U6 Pro, I got on extreme sale here for $91. It's not the latest Wi-Fi 7, but again, this is a budget internet setup and this suits my needs as I have no Wi-Fi 7 devices. This thing looks like a spaceship or a UFO and or a drone from New Jersey. Looks like a flying saucer, doesn't come with a power supply, so you will need to provide power over for ethernet which I uh, will uh, show in a second next up it's the TP link TP link PoE power over ethernet switch it can power devices and send network signals to them it's an eight port but of course you got to use one of those ports to link up to the cloud gateway ultra it's a non-managed device meaning there's no software configuration user interface but it does have three poe sort of add-on features that you can control with switches or just built in the only one of those that i'm interested in is the poe priority meaning if you pull too many watts it'll shut down the higher numbers first so i plug my wi-fi access point into port number one the other thing of note about the switch is it does have a fan Okay, so let's take a break for just a second. Is this really a budget internet setup? If you've been tallying the cost, we're over $400 with just what I've talked about, which is a lot more than I spent 10 years ago last time I did this. You really gotta have some level of interest in any of the things I've talked about so far, like control of the network or whatever, because if you look at it from just a pure cost perspective, it's gonna take a long time to recover that cable modem rental fee. You could just buy these devices and set them on a desk and you'd still have you know, a good setup. And now let's talk about how I've organized those devices into a do-it-yourself wiring rack. This is a Star Tech 6U wall rack. Of course, if you're not familiar with that terminology, U is unit, so this will handle uh, six rack mountable units. You know, for example, the switch takes up one of those. And they've standardized the width at 19 inches across, and this the depth varies. This is a 14 inch depth, I believe, but it also has conveniently marked holes on the back for uh, standard wall studs. First thing I'm gonna put in that rack is the True Cable 24 port patch panel, which you snap in keystone jacks to. It also has a nice uh, wiring bar where you can uh, tie down your thick category 6a cables to it is shielded i didn't use shielded jacks but uh, these other ones fit just fine i used true cable which seemed to be a decent brand and quality and this came with a little tie down included Final thing in the rack is a Tech Mojo shelf, just a shelf for the cable modem and cloud gateway since they're not rack mountable. I was impressed with the accessories this came with and it's a pretty cool sturdy shelf. It does come with extensions to support the back of it for deeper racks, but mine was just supported at the front, which is fine for light equipment. 
One other installation note, if you look at my previous wiring closet video, I used a large piece of PVC sticking down through the ceiling all the way down. This time I used a brush bristles plate and just made the PVC stop in the attic by using a bracket mounting to the attic floor. So it gives it a little bit cleaner look in the wiring closet itself. But this is also kind of a minimalist wiring closet. Before I had all sorts of stuff, HDMI extenders, this is pretty much just network and uh, one coax for the uh, cable modem. Anyway, that's about it. Uh, but before I go, a couple more words about the Cloud Gateway Ultra. One of my hesitancies with this was I didn't want to be in the cloud because, you know, they want you to have a UI.com account. And I would say the setup routine and documentation really try to guide you down that path, but you don't have to do it. I set up my uh, Cloud Gateway Ultra, just the traditional router method of opening up the browser and setting up a local account. Once I had it up and running, I then had to make the aforementioned trip to New York City, so I decided to try out the online stuff, and the Teleport VPN actually worked really well. And there's even a Windows app, so you can VPN into your network pretty easily with this thing. I also really like the improved user interface after years of dealing with the edge router which was fine this is just really more graphical you can change the icons for all your devices it shows you a network topology map and it's easier to set up firewall rules although since installing this they've come out with something new called like firewall groups or something i haven't looked at that yet i think that's in the latest update but yeah it Really happy with the Cloud Gateway Ultra so far. Can you tell the internet is faster at the new house? A little bit, yes. And it should be faster with all new equipment. And I think I got a new wire going out to the pole as well. But Comcast is my only option here. You can see with the speed test we're running, this is a wired connection. We're getting 359 download. With Wi-Fi, it varies. I can get like 312 in the room with the access point, then low to mid 200s generally. But it seems fine for uh, just watching TV or whatever I need to do, VPN for work or whatever. But anyway, that's about it for the video about our budget internet setup. Thank you for watching. See you next time for another awesome video. Bye.